What's going on guys, it's Grant or G Miners here. Today we're going over how to defeat the Consecrated Mind in the Garden of Salvation Raid. This is the third encounter. This encounter is one of the easiest encounters within Garden of Salvation and its mechanics can be broken up into three simple parts. Part one is picking up stacks of Voltaic Overflow and shooting the boss's eyes to prevent team wipes. Part two is collecting motes dropped by Minotaurs and banking them into relays. And part three is damaging the Consecrated Mind. To begin, split your team into two teams of three. The first team, or Team Eyes, will be in charge of picking up stacks of Altaic Overflow drop by the boss, and the second team, or Team Motes, will kill Minotaurs and bring the motes that these Minotaurs drop to a relay. When the encounter starts, the Eyes team will be in charge of following the boss. Every 30 seconds to a minute, the boss will move away from the middle of the arena and travel down one of four hallways. We call the hallway with the spinning jumping puzzle north, the others are east, south, and west, respectively. When the boss reaches the end of these hallways, it will begin to drop one stack of Altaic Overflow. One of the three players on the Eyes team will jump into this stack and become frozen. The other two players on the Eyes team will get on both sides of the frozen player, one on the left and one on the right. Shortly after the stack is picked up, the boss will expand, showing three different flaps, each flap containing an inner and an outer eye. The frozen player will see which of these eyes are glowing red and which are not. It is this frozen player's job to call out whether the inner or outer eyes are glowing. The other players will see all eyes lit up and should wait for this call out before shooting an eye. Make sure to assign each player a flap so that each of the three glowing eyes are shot. Failure to shoot the correct eyes will kill the frozen players along with not shooting each eye fast enough. The eyes team will repeat this process until the damage phase begins, rotating which players pick up the Voltaic Overflow dropped by the boss each time. When the encounter starts, the Motes team will seek out the first Minotaur that spawns. Minotaurs will spawn between the hallways where the boss moves. These callouts are northeast through southwest, otherwise known as the diagonal hallways. At the end of the hallway where the first Minotaur spawns, players will see a relay or conflux with a bright beacon shining into the sky. Throughout the encounter, this relay will be attacked by enlightened enemies. To kill these enlightened enemies, players on the moat team must obtain the enlightened buff. To receive this buff, players must pick up the moats dropped by the Minotaurs and bank them in the relay at the end of the hallway. Minotaurs will always drop 5 motes, and depositing motes, no matter how many, will provide the player who banked it with 40 seconds of the enlightened buff. After a player banks motes, they should stay by the relay and defend it. They will defend it until another player brings more motes to the relay and relieves them of this defending position. Banking and collecting motes should work as follows. One player will pick up the first 5 motes, bank them, and defend the relay. The second player should collect 10 motes by killing 2 minotaurs, bank them, and then defend the relay. The third player will pick up 10 more motes, bank them, and defend, and the first player should come back to mid after the second player banks and pick up the last 5 emotes and then bank them after the third player banks their 10. This pickup pattern for the motes is known as 5-10-10-5. Pickup patterns of 10-10-10 are possible but require more speed. Also note that Minotaurs do not always spawn in the same hallway as the Relay. This is only guaranteed for the first Minotaur. After banking 30 motes, the Consecrated Mind will be called to the Relay for a damage phase. All six players should meet at this Relay once the last set of motes are banked. The boss will expand, revealing many eyes once it reaches the Relay. Shooting every eye will reveal a larger central white eye to damage, and the damage phase will begin. As you damage the boss, it will retreat back to mid. It is recommended to have weapons that allow you to shoot and move. Whisper of the Worm and Xenophage paired with Divinity are recommended. Repeat this entire process again to reach another damage phase if needed. Once you defeat the Consecrated Mind, you will complete the encounter.